So today, we have the two most physically powerful villains in the entire MCU this far, going head to head. Thanos versus Hela. Who wins? Let's find out. So, Thanos was a genocidal warlord titan with the plan of wiping out half of all living things in the universe because he knows resources are finite. He would achieve this by using the six infinity stones simultaneously. He's strong enough to easily overpower Hulk and Thor, easily crush Vibranium, and to effortlessly choke Loki to death with one hand. He's tough enough to withstand Thor's and Captain America's lightning, shook off hits from Captain Marvel, Hulk, and Mjolnir, and he survived being impaled by Stormbreaker in the chest. He was also able to survive snapping with the Infinity Gauntlet twice, while one snap nearly killed Hulk, which is a feat above in itself. He's, he's also quite fast, being able to spin his double-edged sword fast enough to block multiple laser beams simultaneously. He also just has great mobility and agility while in a fight. Speaking of, he's a very skilled and uh, lethal combatant, and he specializes in swordsmanship and nerve strikes. He easily overwhelmed and beat Hulk beat Thor while he was dual wielding Stormbreaker and Mjolnir, and he bested worthy Captain America, Iron Man in his bleeding edge armor, and Thor simultaneously. And finally, his double edged sword was able to chip pieces off of Captain America's vibranium shield, which was thought to be impossible, making this sword uh, more stronger and tougher than vibranium as well. But in the other corner, Hela. Hela was Odin's firstborn, the Asgardian goddess of death, and ruled over Asgard in the Nine Realms alongside Odin uh, with an iron fist, until Odin had a change of heart and banished her to Valhalla. But after he died, she returned for the throne. She has vast superhuman strength, being able to easily stop Mjolnir when thrown at her with one hand, and easily overpower and restrain Thor, even with one hand as well. She's durable enough to withstand Thor's most powerful lightning blast, followed by a massive fall unfazed. And she's fast enough to easily block machine gun fire, and even to catch Mjolnir, which we all know when thrown can move at incredible speeds. Uh, she also has the power to conjure up infinite amounts of swords and project them at incredible speeds. And they're powerful enough to easily pierce right through Asgardian armor and even destroy Asgardian spaceships as well. This power plus her skill allowed her to single-handedly defeat the entire Asgardian army with relative ease. Speaking of, she's an extremely skilled fighter, like extremely skilled, uh, being able to best Thor and Loki single-handedly best Thor and Valkyrie single-handedly, and Thor with Odin's weapon Gugner, all of which with relative ease as well. So, before we get started, I think it's important to note that Thanos from Infinity War is different from Thanos in Endgame. In Infinity War, Thanos was calm and only killed when he felt like he needed to because he wanted the snap to choose who lived and died. He even said that he respected Tony. But in Endgame, he's the exact opposite because he saw how doing it this way ended with him being decapitated. So he took a more savage and fierce approach to it. So let's get started. First off, who's stronger? Well, Hela was able to easily and consistently overpower Thor, even with one hand, catch and destroy Mjolnir with one hand, easily ragdoll Valkyrie and other Asgardians, even sending them, sending them flying through stone walls, and e easily shatter the floor of Odin's palace. But Thanos has also consistently and easily overpowered Thor, even with one hand, easily overpower and knock out Hulk, easily choke Loki to death with one hand, casually crush Vibranium with his fingers, and easily crush the Tesseract in the palm of his hands. It's hard to say who is stronger because they've both easily restrained Thor with one hand, uh, one of the strongest MCU heroes. But I'm going to give it to Thanos because uh, the slight advantage just because this fight isn't taking place on Asgard where Hela is at her peak of powers. Uh, but it's still very close. What about durability? Well, Hela was fine after being stabbed in the back with a knife, and she was fine after taking what Thor said was his most powerful lightning blast 
followed by a massive fall and was just completely fine. Uh, it also took Surtur uh, destroying Asgard to kill her, but Thanos is more durable. Uh, not only was he able to wear the Infinity Gauntlet, but he was able to snap twice within a month. He also survived being impaled in the chest by Stormbreaker, uh, and after taking a barrage of attacks from Iron Man, he only lost one drop of blood. He's just more durable. But again, Hela isn't too far behind. And if Thanos is stronger and tougher, then Hela is faster and more agile. Don't get me wrong, Thanos uh, was able to spin his double-edged sword fast enough to appear as a blur and to block several of Iron Man's lasers simultaneously, and he actually just moves with great mobility in combat. But Hela was able to catch Mjolnir, catch a knife thrown by Loki, block machine gun fire, and she just moves with more agility and mobility while in combat. So both have their own physical advantages. So what about skill? Well, both are very skilled and dangerous combatants. Hela was able to easily best Loki and Thor, Valkyrie and Thor, Thor with Gugnir, and, and she killed every Valkyrie except Valkyrie herself, as well as the entire Asgardian army, all of which she did single-handedly. Not to mention, she and Odin conquered each of the nine realms before Odin banished her. But Thanos easily bested Hulk, bested Iron Man, bested Thor while he was dual wielding Stormbreaker and Mjolnir, bested worthy Captain America, and he even bested Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor simultaneously. It's really close here as well, but I think Hela, Hela is uh, taking it because of her ability to conjure up swords and blending that, it, blending it perfectly with her fighting skill. She's able to conjure up an infinite number of swords and project them at incredible speeds. Uh, they're powerful enough to destroy Asgardian spaceships. She can even conjure up giant swords, as seen when she tried to stop Surtur. But Thanos survived being impaled in the chest by Stormbreaker, so it would take a few swords to put him down. Also, Thanos' double-edged sword is a great counter for this as he can spin it fast enough to block her swords like he did with Iron Man's lasers. It's also stronger and tougher than vibranium, possibly may being made out of Uru, uh, just like the metal Mjolnir and Stonebreaker are made of. So who wins? Well, it'd be a great fight that I wished we got to see in the MCU. It would have been amazing to see these two square off. Just imagine the dialogue between them before they even started fighting. Um, but at the end of the day, I believe I'm going to have to go with Thanos on this one. He's stronger, more durable, has his double-edged sword, and he's nearly as fast and skilled as Hela. If this fight was taking place on Asgard, I'd give it to Hela. I'd probably side with Hela. Just because she gets, gets so much more powerful while at Asgard. But since it isn't taking place on Asgard, I can't uh, see her being able to cons uh, consistently put Thanos down. Thanos wins. Like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below of what you think. And hit the notification bell if you did enjoy and all that great stuff. See you on the next one. Peace.